In this lecture, we will monitor a model. When we have deployed a model into production as a service, we will want to monitor it to track usage and explore the request it processes. We can use Azure Application Insights to monitor activity for a model service endpoint. First, we need to connect to the workspace. So, the workspace we have already created is WSAG. If we go to the resource group, we can find this is the WSAG workspace. We download the config.json file for it. And then we prepare a model for deployment. To prepare a model for deployment, we create and register a data set. We train a model using the data set and then we register the model. So the first point is that we get the default data store and then we upload the files diabetes.csv and diabetes2.csv. We then create, you can find that we have created. So once we have, have uploaded the files, we create a data set and then we register the data set with the name diabetes data set. We can find the data set out here which is the diabetes data set. Once we are done, we create an experiment known as MS Learn Train Diabetes which we can find out here. If you go to experiments and find MS Learn Train Diabetes and then what we do is that we convert the data set to a pandas data frame. So this is diabetes is the pandas data frame. We separate the features and the labels. We split the data into the training set and the test set. The test set is 30% test and 70% of it is training. We train a decision tree model and this is a decision tree classifier. We predict the model using the test set and then we get the accuracy. We also calculate the AUC. We also save the trained model using the diabetes model dot pickle and then we registered the model. Then we deploy the model as a web service. The script file which is required is code diabetes.py and the environment file is diabetes env.yml. The entry script that is required to score the new data, we create it as, as the script file. So the script file, it has got two parts. It has got an init and a raw data. The init is the place in which we get the model path and the run is the part where we are getting the data and we are predicting the model and we are also getting the predicted classes. So this is the part that is in the scoring. Then we create the configuration file in which the configuration file, what is happening in the configuration file, it has got a Python, it has got a scikit-learn and the pip, which is in the diabetes env.yml. Then we create the inference config, which has the runtime Python, the entry script is a script file, and the environment file is also present. Then what we do is that we deploy it into and as your container instance, we then deploy it to the workspace. We have the models, the inference config and the deployment config. So this is all done. And then we enable the application insights. We get the scoring URI from ACI service scoring URI. And then what we do is that we are using the scoring URI for the predictions. How are we doing it? We are getting the data. Here we have two sets of data and then we are posting the data into that endpoint. And after we get it from the endpoint, we after uh, we get a proper status code, we are printing it. The application insights, we can see it in the Azure portal. So if you go to the Azure portal and uh, if I go back to the application insights. If I go to the logs, 
and run the query which is traces where message is equal to std out the custom dimension service name is diabetes service app insights and we project the custom dimensions dot content we can see that these are the two sets of data that is there and the first prediction is a diabetic that is one and the next is non diabetic that is zero so this is how we can monitor using the application insights hope you liked it thank you bye